Welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we are going to be drawing an amaryllis using oil pastels. These are the supplies that you'll need. You will need oil pastels. I'm using these Cray Pass Expressionist oil pastels. These are made by Sakura. This set has 25, a nice range of color, and then I'm using this construction paper. And the kind that I'm using is the Strathmore Smooth Bright construction paper. But if you don't have nice construction paper, I mean, this is just cheap construction paper. So use whatever you have. Let's get started. Once you have your paper and your oil pastels and your paper towel handy, let's go ahead and sketch our flowers. Okay, so we're going to be drawing a big flower down here, a small one up here, and then a little bud right there. So let's get started. We're gonna draw the first petal. So we're gonna draw a V, then we're gonna curve it and make little swirly lines down into a point, then one little dip and a large curve up to the top. Then we're gonna start in the middle, come up, make a curve, go over and come over to a point, make a large arch up to the top, and then just bring it right back down in front of it. And there is a little bump right there. So that's the other side of this petal. Now we're gonna make the biggest, tallest petal. And we're gonna start right from here. And we're gonna come up into a point and then come down into a smaller area right into the middle. Now let's make the next one. It's gonna start halfway up that petal. We're gonna make an arch with a little curve. And then we're gonna curve it back down into the center. And then this next one just comes out of the same area. Curve your line down and make a nice little line coming back. There is a petal tucked in between these two petals. We're gonna draw the sixth petal right now. Well, let's start halfway up that petal and we're gonna make a little bump and come up to a point, make a bump and another bump. And you're gonna hit this petal about halfway. The middle of the flower is actually right here. And what we have are a bunch of stamen or different parts of the flower that are coming out. We're just gonna draw them in with our white. So we're just gonna draw a bunch of curves coming up like this and a really long one coming up there and put little lines at the end of these. There's more than this, but we're just gonna keep it simple and just draw these four. And now we're just going to draw some of the leaves that are behind it. So this is part of the second flower. So you're just drawing two lines. This is going to be a stem and a leaf. So it's coming up through the flower and bending over to the side and coming back in. And then behind it is coming up a little bump and then a little bud. So it almost looks like a little paintbrush poking up right there. And then right here we have another stem. So get your two lines, a bump, and then it almost looks like a bell that's gonna be coming this way. And this is going to be our second flower. Go ahead and draw a line over. So just like a bell, it gets bigger. So let's go ahead and put this petal in to a point and bring it down. And this petal actually has one that comes in front of it. So start in the middle. We're gonna curve over that one like that. And then we're gonna put a petal right in here. And then a large one coming out of the middle, a second one, and then a third one. In here, we're going to draw these lines again. I'm just gonna put three of these in here with the lines on top, and these are those little stamen. We need the stem for this flower, and it just comes out of here and over to the side, and then it has a leaf coming up like that. Let's make our leaves green. Just go ahead and color all those in so we know that's not part of the flower. Color all of your leaves in green and the stems too. We don't really wanna make this part green because there's a little red on it. Now we can make sure we know where our flower is. We're not gonna draw over it. Take your white and thicken up the lines around this. Now with my white, I'm just gonna lighten up the middle part just a little bit. I'm gonna use this, the edge of it, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of the white inside. Grab your orange or a lighter red. I'm gonna use orange. And go ahead and put orange in the tips of your petal. So here, 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 and here. And then grab your red, and see how my red has some black on it? If your oil pastels get dirty, grab a paper towel, just clean them off a little bit. Then take your red, and we're going to draw all the way over the middle of these petals, and we're gonna overlap our orange, starting in the middle, and then just coming over onto the orange cover, all of the orange. Try not to go over these little pieces inside here. Once you get those drawn in, what you can do is take your red and you're just gonna feather it out a little bit into the white areas. I'm just kind of making some lines coming up and out into there. So we're just drawing from the inside of the red and bringing some lines out into the white. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and take our red. Let's put it on these two other flowers really quick. There's red on the sides. Of this one so just on the side and then let's just fill in these petals with our red come down onto your green if you didn't put green up there you can go ahead and do that now and again try not to draw over these 
And now we're gonna add some of the darker parts and we're gonna add the darker parts with a green. So we're gonna take our green and I'm just gonna come in the middle of here and draw some lines coming up and out. And there's a really dark area inside the back of this. Grab your green, let's actually take a lighter bright green. We're gonna start in the middle and we're just gonna swirl it around the edges and bring it down. And I'm just gonna take the same green and just put it on the left side of this. Take it and put it on the left side of this. And you can put some more green on that stem if you want to. Now that we're done with the green, we're gonna take our white and we're gonna make a few lines on our petals. Let's start in this one and clean it off if you want it to be nice and bright and white instead of pink. Clean it off so you get all the red off. And then we're just gonna put a nice bold line in the center of some of these, not all of them have it. Anywhere we have these T's, let's go ahead with our white and redraw them. And I'm just gonna draw them up in here again. Take your bright, bright yellow if you have a bright yellow. The light yellow sometimes just doesn't show up. And we're gonna start with the T, top of the T, and bring it back in. Same with this one, we're gonna start at the T and bring them back in. Now let's work a little bit more on the texture of our petals. You can take your green and make some more lines inside of these ones if you want it to be a little bit darker. The nice thing with pastels is you can work in layers. You can put some definition on your stems. And also in here, if you want to add a little bit of definition where we have these coming in, you can just grab your red and make some lines. Also, this is underneath, so it's probably going to be a lot darker. So I'm just using my green to make it dark and then putting my red over the top of it. We can take our white and just like we did with the red, we can bring the white down onto the petals. We definitely have some up here. Okay, then I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna come back up here where I kind of lost some lines. You can also use your green to outline. If you can't see shapes, just use a darker color to kind of add some more definition in there. You can put this on the outside of the petal. I'm gonna use my green to outline it. But I wanna make sure that I still have the white. In here, it just kind of seems like we lost some of the definition. So I'm just going to take my red and go along the edge of the yellow. So I'm going to take my red in here, grab your white. You can add highlights wherever you think they might be. You can fill in your background with whatever you want. I'm going to choose a light background for this. I'm going to use my white. I'm not going to come very close to these flowers. You know, if you like, you can keep the rough background like that, or you can take your paper towel, fold it into a nice long tube, fold it again, and then use this corner to draw with. And I'm just going to smudge my background. And the last thing you want to do is sign it. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you around on YouTube.